Blessings, dear friends. Today, we gather to find solace in the comforting presence of our loving God. In times of grief and sorrow, we often wonder where to turn, how to find peace. Our answer for comfort lies in the promise of God's nearness, a promise beautifully expressed in Psalm 34 verse 18. Psalm 34 verse 18 The New International Version of the Scripture The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. How reassuring it is to know that, in our darkest hours, God is not distant but near. He doesn't stand aloof, He draws close to us. In our pain, He wraps His loving arms around us. Though you may struggle in this moment to feel comfort or the loving presence of God, read the following scripture for strength. Isaiah 41 verse 10 is read from the English Standard Version. Fear not, for I am with you, be not dismayed, for I am your God, I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 verse 10 reminds us of God's faithfulness. He strengthens us when we are weak, helps us when we are in need, and upholds us when we stumble. We are not alone in our suffering. When we read Psalm 46 verse 1, we can reassure ourselves that God is our refuge, a safe haven, and a source of strength. He is not just present but a very present help in our times of trouble. Listen to Psalm 46 verse 1 from the English Standard Version of the Holy Bible. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Through prayer, we can find peace even when circumstances seem unbearable. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 tells us that when we present our requests to God, His peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. In our journey of grief, let us remember the importance of community. Galatians 6 verse 2 calls us to support one another, to bear each other's burdens, and in doing so, fulfill the law of Christ. In closing, dear friends, let us remember the key points of today's message, God's nearness, His faithfulness, the power of prayer, and the importance of supporting one another. In times of grief, God's presence is our source of solace and strength. He draws near to the brokenhearted, offering His love and comfort. Let us turn to Him in prayer, seek His peace, and support one another in love. As we depart today, may we carry this message of hope in our hearts, knowing that in God's presence, we find true solace and abiding hope. Let us stand on the promise that is in Matthew chapter 18 verse 20. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your nearness, your faithfulness, and your comfort in times of grief. May your peace fill our hearts and guide our steps. Help us to support one another and be your instruments of love and solace in this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.